Hi, I'm Mr. Badger, and uh, today we're going to be doing about motherboards. This uh, quick video is just going to show you the basics about uh, the motherboard, like the, what the components are, where the components are, and what they do. Um, so, first of all, what I do is I'll show you how to locate a motherboard in a standard computer case. So, uh, let's get started with that. So, wait, it's still so there we go, this is our standard computer case, what's inside of it, etc. So, um, simply take out our power supply unit, PSU for short. There we go. Right, so as you can see here, this is our standard motherboard. If you look at the back of the motherboard, you'll find that all the ports are on the bottom of the uh, case. So therefore, the motherboard will be... Uh, where these ports are. So you'll always open the case on the opposite side from which, which the motherboard is located. So it's pretty easy to find. So uh, next stop is uh, describing about the motherboard. So I'll just pack all this away. Right, so here's our standard motherboard, taking uh, most of the components out. But what you're left with is just the motherboard. So here we have our two IDE ports, named IDE 1 slash 2, IDE 3 and 4, and we have our floppy drive uh, IDE connector here as well. So these are obviously used to connect the drives up to the computer and the motherboard. Here we have our power supply input, so this is power 1, and this is your 24 pin connector. There are uh, other types of motherboard which have older connectors as well. Here we have our RAM DIMM slots. So this is where you put your uh, input, your RAM. Some motherboards can have three to four, or five to six. This only has two, as you can see. Um, here we have our uh, PCI slots. We have three slots on this motherboard, so you could put in your network cards, sound cards, uh, extra USB ports, etc., etc. And we also have our AGP slot, which is ad advanced graphics port. So this is for your video card, mainly like. Uh, ATI or NVIDIA cards would go into there. Um, on the back we have our standard ports, so you have your um, mouse and keyboard, P PS2 connectors, you have your printer connector, COM ports, USB, Ethernet, game port and your standard sound ports, which is microphone, line-in and headphones. You have your CPU power, so that uh, that powers basically your uh, CPU fan and makes sure that the CPU has power to it. So this is our, where the CPU is located and uh, it's located in the CPU slot so I'll just uh, out to show you. It's alright, nothing broken. As you can see, there's our uh, CPU slot. They can of a CPU for some reason, but um, yeah. So our CPU will fit into there. You need to make sure that when you put your CPU in, that you put it in the right way, or is it uh, will bend the pins and it will not work unless, of course, you can bend them back again. So um, also here we've got our uh, motherboard chipset. So it depend depending on what motherboard you have will depend on where it's located. As you can see, in and around your motherboard, you have various different jumper settings or other ports. So, like here, you have your case ports. So, for like power on and uh, the system fan and reset buttons, these will connect up to here. These various other ports will be for other system fans that you may have, sound from your um, CD drive or DVD drive to your motherboard, so it can uh, transfer the sound. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much um, the motherboard. So uh, this has been a short video about your motherboard. I hope you enjoyed it. Keep watching and uh, subscribe. Thanks for watching.